Okay, for the next method, what we're gonna do is we are going to connect via Wi-Fi to your computer or to your phone. We're gonna start with the computer. The first thing you have to do is go in, if you've never done it before, you have to go into Fluke Connect, and you can see it says pair to mobile device, so we wanna click that. And you can see we don't have the ability to turn on Wi-Fi yet. So it's telling us to go to fluke.com slash register TI and put in our serial number, which is right there, and then it'll, it'll give us a code, and we'll enter the code in this screen. So let's jump over to the computer. We'll do that, and we'll be back to the camera here in a second. When you're gonna turn on your Wi-Fi in your um, device, you're gonna go here to this website, type in fluke.com slash register slash TI, and it'll bring you to this website. Once you get here, select your language, then enter all your information and the serial number right here and hit submit. Once that happens, if it's working properly, you'll get a code and you can just enter that in. If it doesn't work properly and you get this error message, what you'll need to do is you will need to reach out to our technical support folks and they will be able to help you with that. If you're in the United States, you can reach out to technical support via 800-873-5853. You can also reach out to them with an email if you prefer with support at fluke.com. Again, support at fluke.com. Provide your serial number and they will get you a code that you can enter in yourself to turn this feature on. Once you get your code, you're gonna come in here and you will turn that on and we're gonna say enter code. Then you'll type your code in and progress to the next step. Now you can see we are enabled for all of the following, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Bluetooth audio, so on and so forth. Say okay. Now we are good to go. Now that we have enabled the radios on your um, camera, we can go in and we can do a little bit more. We can start with the now fourth way of transferring images. Um, go into camera. Well, let's go back real quick. So under Flute Connect, you can see your Wi-Fi, we can turn that on now, okay? Now we can go into camera if we want. Wireless and Wi-Fi hotspot and we can see it is on right now. If it was not on, if it was off, then we would need to turn it on. Once it's on, your phone or your uh, computer will be able to see this as a hotspot. We're going to go over to the computer and show you on that, and later I'll try to show you on the phone. Now that we have the Wi-Fi radio turned on on the camera, we're going to go over to the computer and look for that Wi-Fi hotspot. You can see I'm connected to my local home internet. Now I'm going to click the Flute camera. If you've never um, connected to a camera, I think the password is Fluke Tools. You can look in the um, user manual if you want to verify that. The user manual should tell you what the default password is unless you've changed it. You can see here in the background that Fluke Connect Desktop started um, recognizing it the moment we connected. So it is still connecting, but now you can see over here, we are connected to the TI-480 Pro. So again, we can hit download, um, select files. This, click download, and we will put that into Wi-Fi. <clears throat> And just so you know, um, or just as a reminder, this is not connected via a um, cable or anything. This is only through the Wi-Fi. So uh, the TI 
uh, 480 is creating its own Wi-Fi hotspot. It's just sitting on my table across the office and my computer is connecting to it. Um, so right now I couldn't, you can see it says I don't have any internet access. That's because how I'm connected my computer to Wi-Fi right now is directly to the camera, not to our um, local or not to my internet at home. And here we go. You can see right here we got our fourth image via Wi-Fi. Oh, it's not letting me move it. Tried to open it up for you. It opened up on my other screen so I couldn't show you. But you can see number four. So that's the number four method.